Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. So this is intended for singles. For those of you that are single, um, haven't met anybody yet, but maybe you're hoping to or whatever the case may be, you're all going to be different. But this is intended for singles, so I'm going to read it as a singles reading. Let's get started. I'm still going to go ahead and do, you know, what is going on with your person as well. So let's get started. I've already meditated on our cards. I say ours because for those of you that are brand new, I'm a Scorpio sun, Cancer moon, Libra rising, and a Sagittarius Venus. So I definitely am interested to see what's going on too. So let's find out Scorpio. So if this resonates for you, definitely you can check out the continuation of your reading extended on Vimeo if you so wish to do so. Okay, let's get started. For those of you that are brand new, you don't know what that is. I have been asked. It's an extension to this. So I dig a lot deeper into the future using other decks and clarification, okay? Wow, release. You have release. Let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunities, time to move on. So maybe you have just recently become single and you're looking to move forward. And if, it, if, if you haven't yet, I feel like you may decide to release someone or something in your life that is just, you know, it's not, uh, it's not going well for you. Something maybe in your past, it can even be things that happened in your past, like family life, whatever the case may be. It's something that you're thinking about letting go or you are currently letting go or you already have. And now you're ready to seize new opportunities, you know, and it can be a person, place or thing, whatever has kind of been in your way, you're, you're going to release it, I feel. Okay, or at least you're thinking about it. And this is going to bring in new opportunities for you if you should decide to do that. Clarify release here, please, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages? What are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the messages, please, for Scorpio? Nine of Winter, yeah. You're really worried about it, though. Unfounded fear and focusing on worst-case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. So I feel like... You know, you want to release something or you're thinking about it, someone or something. And it's like you're worrying about it, though, wondering, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? It's it's these fears that play on you, especially at nighttime. And it's kind of like you're laying there and you're wondering, well, if I release, am I going to regret it? Um, or if I release, you know, will this come back basically to haunt me? It's kind of like you're... You're concerned about the repercussions of releasing somebody or something. And it can be anything. Like I said, you're all going to be different. It's a general reading. So, you know, don't force anything to resonate for you. But this is what I'm seeing. It's, it's And us Scorpios tend to do that, right? We we um, let things plan in our mind and we overthink. And, and it's like don't allow these fears to kind of play a part in moving forward. And... It's very hard for us to do, you know, because we want to think of every angle and, and um, we don't want to make any mistakes. So we're very meticulous on, on what we decide to do. So I feel like the universe is definitely saying here, don't let anything hold you back. Don't let your fears hold you back. If there's something you need to release in order to seize new opportunities, and it can be to, you know, a, a new relationship, and um, it can be a new job, it can be, uh, you know, I want to relocate, I, I want to just take a risk and, you know, run off to Jamaica or Africa or whatever the case is. If there's something that you want to do and you're letting your fears hold you back, I feel like the universe is telling you to release those fears, to seize new opportunities. Don't focus on fears that, um, that, you know, are holding you back, that are unfounded. They're, they're just, it's their fears. They're not actuality. They're not, you know, real life here. So don't, don't let anything, you know, hold you back from new opportunities. Okay. What are the messages for Scorpio, please? June, 2020. I will be focusing on July, 2020 sneak peek in the extended. Okay. For those of you, this resonates for what is going on for Scorpio that they need to know. What do they need to know, please, spirits, for June 2000? Woo! I love it when they jump out for us like that. Give me one sec, Scorpio. And cross watchers, of course. We couldn't do this without you. <gasps> Ten of winter, absolutely. Okay, so whatever fears or anxiety you've been going through, whatever's been holding you back, that's going to end. 
Okay, you've got new start here. I feel like you are you are going to release somebody or something that's been holding you back. You're going to have a new beginning, okay? Wow. Resolution of difficulties. A weight will be lifted off your shoulders. An end to an addiction or codependency. And again, this could be anything. This could be you. It could be somebody surrounding your energy as well. Just FYI. You either are deciding to release somebody or something and take new opportunities, okay? Because it's just, it's it's given you nightmares. It's it's kept you up at night. It's It's caused you a lot of worry and a lot of anxiety. So you're choosing to release it or somebody close to you. It can be a family member, a friend, whomever. And this is about a new beginning. It's releasing all your fears. It's like, I'm tired of, I'm at the end of my rope. This has been too painful and I'm done. And so now you're going to move forward. You could have been codependent on somebody or something. It can even be an addiction. It can be to a person, place or thing, whatever it is, you're going to release it because you're, it's keeping you up at night. Yeah. You're being very successful. You're going to move forward successfully here. This is about being recognized and doing a great job. This can be your actual physical work. This can be um, being recognized for an accomplishment. You know, if you're into music and you're a musician and you're doing really well and you're getting um, a lot of recognition for that or your job, you know, you're being recognized and moving up the ladder, whatever the case may be. Wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. So there could be, you know, some really great just rewards once you release whatever it is that's holding you back. It's going to bring you a lot of success and that anxiety is going away. Yay. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Hello, Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer. I also have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Success that comes from dedication and self-discipline, celebrating your accomplishments, being in the spotlight. You might be doing something that is really getting you recognized here. Some accomplishments, whatever that is. Again, it can be work. It can be... Um, something that you've started that is really going great for you it's it's bringing you recognition that you deserve something that you deserve once you release somebody or something and it can be you know codependency on a person place or thing maybe somebody that's been on your mind again it can be that you've had fears of moving forward in a current position or work um, maybe you were fearing competition but it, it's going away you're laying down that exhaustion. This is about going through a lot of um, tension and worry and anxiety here and just kind of, it's, it's almost painful. Like, and once you release that, you are, you're, you're, you're going to get this recognition and you're going to move forward. The chariot can be actual, uh, you're taking off. Like I said, to Jamaica or wherever it is, it's like, I'm getting on my chariot and I'm riding off into the sunset here and you're doing awesome. And this is great. Beautiful. Too many cards. Let's reshuffle that. Clarify the chariot for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 2020. What are the messages, please, for the chariot? <laughs> Ace of Autumn. Beautiful. Yeah, this absolutely could be a new career, a new opportunity that comes to you once you release. A windfall of money, advice, or assistance from others. A very successful project. A happy change in your career. There you go. You could be getting a brand new opportunity. And this is going to bring you recognition and just rewards here. Moving you forward. Allowing you to have this new beginning after a very painful period in your life is ending. It was very, it kept you up at night, whatever it was. It's, it's been, you know, it's been very difficult. And now you're moving forward to success and victory here. This is having a new job, a new career, new business, new opportunity. It can't even be new love possibly, but um, so far I feel like this is, it's going to be different for all of you, but whatever it is, it's going to bring you this new opportunity. And then next look awakening. This is like Da ding like you're going through a spiritual awakening and you're changing the way you're, you're looking at everything and you're embracing brand new experiences or you will be uh, to where before you were focusing on the negative now you're focusing on the positive it's it's having this um, realization that you need to release somebody or something in your life that's been painful and once you do that it's like wow all this success comes in this new beginning and it's going to make you move forward in a absolutely beautiful way. This is awesome. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple of the Shacy Prism. And we're just going to see what other messages we get here. And then we're going to continue to Vimeo for the continuation. So for those of you that are brand new, 
If you want to get in on the bracelet stone giveaway, they are absolutely handmade by me. They're all authentic. You can check that out in the description box or in the comment section below as well as the extended. Okay, all the information is down there. All you need to do is hit subscribe, like this video, hit the notification bell if you want further notifications and then that way you'll be notified if you're one of the lucky winners. My girls and I pull it the end of every month we pull three names out and we ship them for free again i hand make them so you could check into that there's no catch i mean i pay everything it's just our way of saying thank you for supporting the channel it allows me to bring you these readings complimentary what are the messages please for scorpio wow that was fast wow okay so maybe recently you've become self-sufficient and single or this is the universe saying you are single and you're able to take care of yourself because you're 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 moving up in the ladder either in your current career or getting a brand new business new opportunity something that's going to bring you recognition happiness and success here and this is awesome and if you haven't already ask your angels for guidance to help you on this new beginning this new experience this new job this new business whatever it is for you it's a new opportunity that again you're moving forward in you're going to be successful you could be involved with a cancer cancer as well taurus capricorn virgo okay i have another scorpio here assessment judgment yeah absolutely so this this is you i feel um making a final decision here having this awakening realizing what you're meant to do moving forward here and it's kind of like you've had this epiphany and you're deciding to let go of something that's been painful for you that you've been holding on to a person place or thing and it's the universe telling you that once you do that you're going to have this new opportunity and this is pentacles so i feel like it's a business opportunity career maybe you're focusing more on that now for some of you for others of you yeah it can be a practical offer um that i feel you know of some sort that brings you this um this this recognition it that's what i keep seeing here I keep feeling like you're moving forward somewhere you may actually take a, a physical uh trip somewhere uh, when you're able to here with that chariot because a chariot's about moving on your rightful path here this is your rightful path whatever it is you're doing okay you're moving in a direction that is going to bring you beautiful success and victory here we're going to move forward and we're going to dig a lot deeper i'm going to you know pull some of the moonology in the continuation i'm going to pull more of the fairy cards as well I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, for those of you that are interested in love, I'm going to pull one of these love oracles as well. And we're going to get some guidance messages uses the goddess guidance in the extended. And for those of you, again, that are interested more in the relationship aspect, I will be doing a separate reading for, for those of you that are interested. Meet me over on Vimeo if you're interested in that. And for those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. For those of you that want me to dig deeper to see where your future's going, where this chariot's going, let's dig deeper. I thank you so much for being here. Appreciate each and every one of you. And please don't leave without subscribing and liking. It really helps the channel to grow and bring you these messages. It helps others as well hear these messages. Thank you so much. I hope you're staying happy, healthy, and safe. For those of you leaving me now, I will see you in a couple days. For those of you meeting me on Vimeo for the continuation, I will be right there. Namaste.